daddy, you go crazy. All them babies used to be in my house. Everybody. Mm -hmm. From K.I. to Tuka to Tutu to Modell to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I started them kids' parties. Like, I was so glad that we as Khalif shouted my baby out because it really took, like, that was some big, him and Cash. Even though he shouted out a lot of people, but to see that. Because Doug liked it, the black and yellow song. Like, this was <laughs> it, like, he fucked with it. And I even threw my daughter a black and yellow party where Everybody was there. If y'all saw the pictures, y'all see the infamous pictures with Raheem, his son. They got the yellow shirts on. It's in it's a picture with my nephew. Like it's a lot of them. Ki, Kyrie. I threw them a black and yellow part. Mm -hmm. That's where them pictures come from. That picture where you see Scrap, Raheem, Brick, Jericho. It's everybody on the picture is dead. Mm. Everybody on the picture is dead. So I threw them kids parties. I just tried to keep them safe. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I can keep my kids in the house where I can watch them, watch them, I don't care what friends come over here. Just don't bring that shit to my doorstep. And it probably happened once. I ain't never told this story before. But it happened one time my house got shot up. Mm on Amos, and it was during my um, daughter's, was she ever, ninth birthday party, 10th birthday party? It was a, uh, No, nah, it was, it was Lashiera's party because Leandra, i never forget it, all while the shooting was happening. This was one of my twins, this was a twin that passed away. She got her face in the ice cream like this, but she on the ground and she ain't raising up. But she's still eating her ice cream and shit, right? So that's why I never forget that. And I ain't gonna mention no name. My nephew, both of their yeah, ass shot out, shot at somebody off my back porch, and then they returned, came back and shot my house up. But I didn't know nothing about this until after it happened because the part that they shot up, it was like what five minutes. I'm ready for everybody to go home now, so I didn't goddamn it. Like, get y'all kids, got the kids from behind. Then while we singing happy birthday, I hear like they was coming through the refrigerator. And I could just imagine if them kids was back there, them people would have shot my house up and would have killed a whole bunch of kids. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just grateful. That's what we call senseless violence in Chicago, correct? Yeah. So they didn't have any like intended targets, they was just Shooting up a house. Yeah, they shot at shot somebody and shot at him. And him oh, okay. in return came back and shot my fucking house up. Right. So, yeah, that's how that went. Okay. Um, so it's safe to say that all your kids were raised in the streets? Hell no, nah, my kids weren't raised. I lived on on 63rd four years. Okay. From 2008. I, when I moved on roads, I moved on 66 and roads in 2008. I moved off roads to Wabash. From 2009 to 2010, I moved on Wabash. I moved off 62nd and Wabash to 61st and Evans. I stayed there two years. When I left, them kids followed me everywhere. I moved out west. They followed me out west. I moved up north. So now I'm from the Ida B. Wells. Mm -hmm. Hell no, nah, my granny ain't play that shit. They want, Duck was such a home by. That needs to be on the back of my granny wheelchair, like, you know what I'm saying? Dunk was always a mama's boy. Like, it will be times where I'd be gone, that nigga hop on the bus and come find me. Like, y'all seen my mama? So now I ain't no streets, I ain't claiming that. Yeah, they a product of their environment to a certain extent because everything they did, they did it to protect themselves. Hell no, they weren't perfect. I ain't finna sit up here and say, oh, my kids were, hell motherfucking no, they ain't perfect and they mama wasn't perfect neither. But I know what they did and I know what they didn't do. Ain't nobody finna tell me, and the shit I don't know, I still don't know it. I don't give a fuck. But the shit I know, motherfucker can't tell me nothing. Hell no, ain't no streets, but they was in the streets, but ain't no streets raised, ain't no streets need to raise them. They always had uncles in their head. 
doing shit with them. Just, they was in baseball. You know what I'm saying? All that shit for Duck ain't really start till we moved on 63rd. You know what I'm saying? He always been a peaceful person, but he wasn't no whole ass nigga. Everybody see that. He, he wasn't one of them. Brick, I don't even like talking about Brick. That's a whole new different story, baby. <laughs> Huh? Huh? That's some hoe. I heard you say you don't talk about Brick that much because if 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 the folks know how Brick ain't was. nobody paying me enough to talk about my son mm. and what they want to hear, mm. and that's real motherfucking shit. Cause I ain't got no business to telling what I know right. or what I assume after the fact. Right. You feel what I'm right. saying? He not here no more. Right. So whatever I say, he ain't gonna get prosecuted for it. Right. But that was a motherfucker. So, I'm gonna take a drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> and loved his mama. And the thing about Brick, you wouldn't hear a peep out of Brick unless you fuck with something he loved. Mm. You wouldn't hear a peep out of Brick. So. DJ, you go crazy!